So I've decided that I want to build a workbench. And this is going to be the video of me building it. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> oh, and I've never built anything before, so I, don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is how far I got yesterday. I uh, didn't really actually start putting it together. I just lay laid it out and made room for it because I had to like take away this whole thing. And now I've just like randomly put things in there and look at all this stuff. Oh my god. And yesterday when I was looking around, guess what I found? Because I have these old sails laying around. Like, this is an old one uh, that I've never used. But would you look at that? It's Rolly Tasker. So what I'm going to start with is just like sanding the corners because some of them are like quite uh, messy. Like these ones, so I'm just gonna sand those quick and then uh, I'll screw it all together. So sand it down the corners and now I'm gonna screw them together like this. So this is gonna be the top, so I'm gonna start with that. So I finished the first part. It's not like perfect. See like here, it's like a little, I guess I have to turn it the other way around, but I think it's good enough. So now we're gonna build the bottom shelf thing and then I'll put the legs on and we'll see what it looks like. like in the middle for the lower shelf because the guy didn't cut out three he just cut out two for me so okay so I have the two pieces together and now I'll put the legs on and then see if it stands so I just realized that these ones should be as long as these ones, even though the I want the whole shelf thing to be shorter. But I don't have any wood for that, so I guess I just have to wait until tomorrow to get that. Two more pieces for the sides so that the leg can like attach to it, like there, so it doesn't like just float in the middle of nothing. So that's since I'm on a roll right now, I think I'm going to just uh, attach the legs to this and just see how, if it's tall enough, because, it, yeah, I want to see what it like feels like when I get it up. <laughs> so I figured out that these planks are, of course, too short because I cut them in the same length as the length of uh, this one. But they need, of course, to be longer so they can go out here. I guess I have to go buy some new one of those as well. So then we have two things, two things that I didn't measure correctly. And then there is another thing. <laughs> and that is that for me to have my car in here, I think I measured that it shouldn't really be longer than that one. And it is. So I don't know how that happened. But I think I should... I mean, if I cut these, these will fit, right? I'm having an uh, eureka moment, so that's all I have to do, right? I can just cut these and then I can cut these into place later. Great, then I don't have to buy anything new. I just have to cut things. Yeah, that worked great. Now it's 
shorter and these fit so that's great and uh, I realized that I actually have a little bit more of these so I think what I'm gonna do is see if I can change out these with these I think it should be strong enough so instead of having these two by fours I'll have that that stuff like just on the side yeah that should be fine Okay, moment of truth to see if I calculated this correctly. Originally, I didn't want to have like, I wanted this shelf to be a little shorter so that you could like sit there with a chair, but now I think I will just like put another plank in there. Doesn't matter. Have a little bit more surface area. And uh, yeah, I think it looks great. The plan is to like move those tires under there and then build like uh, some type of like tool wall also so that all my tools can go up here so that I can actually see them and then that will free up space in the shelf and I think I will be able to put my, the rest of my stuff in there and after I throw away some stuff also. <laughs> I decided to make the back wall as well. So I decided to just like go super simple and I just took the scrap wood that I had from other projects and I like uh, used two of these to just like screw in screws and stuff to have a uh, space for all the tools. I put some shelves up here. I'm gonna think I'm gonna put another one down there so that I can have a little bit more uh, room for liquids. So what I did was basically just like screw, like drill these little holes. It's not really pretty as you see, but I don't care about that. All I, all I think about is function with these things. And these little things like scrap food from my workbench. So I have one place for the screws and adhesive all the tools, my Biltema collection. And uh, yeah, I can uh, put in some more shelves there if I want to. I think it works great. Maybe this one should have been like a little bit wider, the table, but I do have these two things here and that thing there that I can use to make a little extra table here if I want to. And uh, I cleaned up the garage. So right now the easy raft is out because I used it a couple of days ago, so it's drying out, but I moved my diving stuff over there and the ski stuff is also going away. I still have room for Sam's board and uh, all the other scrap uh, things. This one can probably be cleaned up a little bit more, but whatever. This is uh, a lot better than it was and I'm so happy. I can't wait to start doing like boat projects in here. So there we go, there's my workbench. I am very happy with uh, my work so far. <laughs> I know that it's not like perfect, but, and there's uh, things that could be better, but I, uh, I really enjoyed making it. So I guess that's the most important thing. I can't wait to make more stuff here now that I have this space for it. I'm super stoked about it actually. So I hope you will uh, enjoy watching me uh, evolve into a professional woodworker. <laughs> this is where it all starts. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys next time.